All right, guys, we're going to try to show you this. I was asked to do port lengths on the dual plane and the single plane. Sounds easy, right? Well, I'm certainly not a port length expert by any stretch of the imagination, and especially measuring something like this. <sighs> Let's see if you guys can see anything. Okay, you can see fairly well. Let's take number eight. How do we measure this long side? Does it go straight out? Does it curve? Does it, in reality, does it really hug this tight corner? It's a good question. I don't really know. So, the inside edge is easy. All right? I just take a, I don't even know what that is. A dressmaker's tape. I stole that from Wiffy. Okay, just getting just getting the tape through the port is tough. What I did is I used my flow bowl with the string and I opened the hook a little bit to try to grab it. And then I used my long diamond, because it's nine inches long, try to push it from one side, pull from the other. What a pain. The inside edge is easy, okay? All you got to do is take your tape, bring it to the end, right in the center. Make sure it's tight. And then the way I'm calculating it is I have the plenum cut straight down. That's where the end of my, my runner is going to be. Okay. So I get eight. Looks like seven. Seven and three eighths looks like. Now, the outside turn is tougher. Inside is easy. You just pull it tight and you're good. Well, how do you get it to fill the shape better? I figured just stuff it with some foam to hold it to that edge. Looks easy, right guys? It's not. Now, you have to make sure the tape stays over to one side. I'm sure somebody has a better a better way to do this than this, because this is, this is not easy. Okay, same deal. Pull the tape right towards the end, and then measure it in the plenum. Okay, looks like about nine inches. Okay, now you got to get your, your foam out because the engine's not going to run good with chunks of foam stuck in, stuck in the runners. And if you think they come out easy, they don't always come out easy. Now, let's take a quick look. At what we found out. Let's see if we can do this standing up there. There we go. Can you guys see that? Fairly decently. Okay. All right. You guys should be able to see all of that. So, what I wound up doing was, inside of the runner. So I measured them both towards the center, the center of the uh, rectangle, best I could. We measured all the inside numbers on the single plane, all the inside numbers on the dual plane, all the outside numbers, all the outside numbers. 
what we do with these two numbers, right, it's going to be a difference on the inside and the outside. Outside's always going to be longer. Add them together, average them. How do we get our complete length? Well, I already did the cylinder head port length on the intake. It was 4.89 inches. So we take our average runner length, add it to 4.89, comes up with your runner length. Okay, all of our, all of these can be calculated for the Helmholtz resonance. I didn't do that today. I just, uh, I, I've, I have a bunch of other things I've got to get done, and uh, that doesn't include this. But if you guys want to take these and give me the RPM for them, that'd be great. I was going to include the spacer, but in reality, the... Once you get into the plenum and then up, it's not really runner length anymore. So I, I, I'm not going to use that. Now, same deal with the dual plane, right? Inside, outside, you average it, add it to 4.89. Notice how much longer these runners are. How accurate is this? It's probably plus or minus a quarter of an inch. You know, somebody's going to say, oh, I did that and my numbers are off. Well, guess what? They've been ported, so they're going to be they're going to be different. I have to show you the inside plenum on the single plane because those center dividers were cut down a couple weeks ago. I changed them from being uh, notched to straight, straight down at an angle. And the reason I had to do that is because that's what I could get to with the burr. Okay. Notice how much longer these are than these. That's why we get better low end. One of the reasons we get better low end torque is these, this intake is going to resonate at lower frequencies. All right, a lot of them are right around 12 and a half. This whole bunch of them here is around 12 and a half. Got one oddball extra long one, which is eight. Eight on the small block Chevy tends to be uh, the worst flowing port. You wonder if that's by accident. I think it was. I think it was the worst flowing port on this intake as well. And our best flowing port was what four? Shortest. Maybe there's something to do with port length and flow. Hmm. Could be. Leave that as a question further on uh, further on today. Let me show you guys what I did as far as the the intake. And we'll call it a day. Okay, on the dual plane, I ended my runner length right at this edge. And then about the same distance on the other side. That's where I calculated my my runner length. If that's wrong. Let us know, because I think that's the way it should be done. Okay, on the single plane, that was a big notch, okay? The bottom is about the same length it originally was, and the very top is the same length it originally was, but it came down straight and then went back with a big notch. I didn't like that, so what I did is I, I split the difference. I made it straight, but it is at an angle. Tough to get focus on. So, how do I do port length that way? Well, I split the difference. I went right in the middle. Okay? Went right in the middle of that divider and right in the middle of the other divider. The other sides are very similar, but not the same. Let's get a little light. Okay, similar, but not the same because... The original dividers weren't the same. All right, guys. Now, why do we why do we need the, our our port lengths? We'll leave that as a question. I mean, I probably went over it already in this video, but an important point, and it'll certainly make a difference on the dyno where where our power will be made, right? That'll be interesting. 
It'll also be interesting to see how much we gain or lose with those spacers. That, um, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, throttle body injection manifold is in. The guy actually lives a town away. He said he would come and drop it off. I may run out there and grab it. Uh, he already spent enough money getting it here. First of all, he bought it. He bought it, and then he seen we need it. Needed it for the project. He's like, come and get it. My kind of guy. All right. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for hanging out.